Hey, what's going on, guys? It is me, Mark Easy, aka the DJ Day Trader. That's right, you know what time it is. Time for another video, and today, you guys have been asking me for more scanners. We want more scanner videos. They love the scanner of how to find those overextended stocks, and today, I'm gonna show you how to make an intraday VWAP scanner using Thinkorswim by TD Ameritrade. That's coming up in just a little bit, but while you're hanging out, do me a favor. Don't forget to smash those buttons, like the videos. If you don't like them, comment and let me know why. Subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the notification. That's right, anytime I put up a new video or go live, you won't miss a thing. So today, we are going to show you how to create a VWAP scanner using Think or Swim by TD Ameritrade. So let's get into today's video. All right, let's step into the TD Ameritrade platform. And of course, usually you're on the charting section. So what we need to do is go up to the top right in this area and click on the scan tab come over here to the right side click on this button load scan scroll down to create a scan and you can name it uh vwap just for consistency sake uh, i like to get rid of these those generic preferences and then i add a study filter for the stock and what i like to look for delete that add condition of course i like to look for the study of atr greater than at least one dollar so this just is basically saying that the stocks atr is at least one dollar we want stocks that move so we want an atr of at least one dollar press okay then we add another study filter and another study i like to do delete down add a condition is volume so let's look at for the average volume volume i think it's called volume average in here volume average here we go is greater than or equal to everybody has their preferences but i'll just put 500,000 for example okay 500,000 and the length of course is how many days so we'll just say within the last 10 days it had an average volume of at least 500,000 we'll click that click okay and the last thing you want to do is a study filter right here once again we edit oh yeah i forgot make sure the ATR is on a daily time frame. The volume average is on a daily time frame. And as we come into here, that will add the condition. The price close crosses the study. And we'll press VWAP. 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 And within one or two bars. So we'll just say one bar. And we'll press OK. And then we'll save that scan. Oh yeah. It depends which uh what time frame you use. If it's an intraday scan, we'll just say one minute. So basically we're looking for when the price action crosses the VWAP on the one minute chart. Okay. So let's hit that save. We'll load a scan up here. So we can use the scan. Load a scan. We'll look for another oh, so many VWAP. So then we'll hit scan and see what do we come up with? Tons and tons of stocks. So we here we see uh first one is INTC. INTC. So let's go to our chart here intc there you go the price action it gets kind of choppy it would look like this normally but it's after hours so you see how the price action it crossed the vwap right about here so this is the price now so let's look at the next one mo mo so let's type in mo here we go again price is right here about the vwap after hours it's kind of harder to see but uh during intraday hours you'll definitely see it crossing the vwap let's look for one more let's, uh nvidia so let's go to nvidia nvda you can see price action is <laughs> it's only ticks now so it's right here so it crossed from here to here but you're gonna see a, a little discrepancies just because you'll see a little discrepancy just because it is in the after hours and volume is uh, relatively low so let's maybe see something let's see here amazon let's try amazon see maybe it has a little bit more price action uh for you guys to see amazon amy mzn amazon see a little bit closer but you get the drift of it so definitely uh it works so that is the vwap scanner simple and easy i will leave the link below in case you guys are lazy and you don't want to build your own scanner you can just copy mine like you guys do 
<laughs> it's all good but uh we'll check that out and uh let me tell you one more hint here we go and bring this out here you can uh assign this scan into a watch list so if you go to the watch list and you select vwap see these same stocks will come up here the only thing with thinkorswim they don't push the live data into these watch lists so they're not always updating like say trade ideas or some of those other scanners out there but a little trick you can do uh to refresh it in case say you're looking for something touching the vwap all you gotta do is click down to the next scan and click back up or click up a few times and click back down and the scan will refresh for you so in case you're looking for a, a stop crossing the vwap in real time you can always just press down press back up and it will also refresh for you also also another trick you can do is see how it says get up scan in vwap what you can do is scan in so say if you have another watch list or if you want to go to the top 10 and only look for stocks that are a top 10 percent in the uh, new york stock exchange crossing the vwap then you can do an intersection of the two so it will look for only the top 10 stocks or the top 10 uh, percentage gainers or whatever you may have like a watch list here and whatever is in your watch list the two scans will intersect so it will only look for stocks in your watch list that are crossing the VWAP and you can save that scan also and put it in a watch list as well. So there's uh, many tips and tricks you can do uh, to get this VWAP scan working for you. So that's simple and easy. Uh, like I said, I'll leave the link for the scan in the description so you guys can check that out. All right, there you go. That is how to build a VWAP intraday scanner using Think or Swim by TD Ameritrade. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That's right. Like the video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification for me so you know next time I put up a new video or go live, you won't miss a thing. Mark Easy, AKA the DJ Day Trader, putting down another video for you. You guys have a great day. I'll see you guys next time. Till then, aloha.